the BVI Sailing Festival kicked off six days of warm water and hot racing. After an unusually calm day on the way to Virgin Gorda, race officials called for a lay day and all the boats took advantage of the great amenities of the Bitter End Yacht Club. For the return trip, big breezes and ocean swells set hearts racing for the competitors in the Nanny Q Cup. However, Peter Aschenbrenner's 63-foot trimaran Paradox was given a separate course outside the channel. The giant multi-hull was searing through the ocean swell, often close to airborne and consistently hitting speeds in excess of 20 knots. Paradox completed their 25-mile course in just one hour and 40 minutes. In the racing class, Michael Schlen's Far 400 Blade cut through the surf with precision to beat sister ship Doug Baker's Magnitude by over four minutes. Third was Bill Alcott's STP-65 Equation, which was the first monohull home by a significant margin. There was high drama in the cruising class with a tie for first place on corrected time. BVI skipper Antonio Samper is racing his J36 Cayenita Grande. The local boat corrected out to exactly the same time as Shamrock 7, owned by Boston sailor Thomas Mullen. In the bare boat class, Leonard Neekman's Juno Sun Odyssey 44i, Lucky Dutch, took line honors by some margin. Neil Harvey's Dufour 425 Acadia was next to finish, but only a single second ahead of Hans Schrenderhoff's Juno Sun Odyssey 44i. The rest of the fleet were not far behind. A ball of boats competing for places meant that the entire pack finished within minutes of each other. After time correction, the winner was actually the last boat to finish. Peter Rutkowski's Beneteau Oceanus 361, Paralandra. Bill Peterson and Peter Stazaker's team trolley car were just 10 seconds off the winning time in second place from Neil Harvey's Acadia, which claimed third. Day one racing in the BVI Spring Regatta started on schedule. 15 knots of solid breeze intensified during the morning, peaking at 18 knots to provide some fantastic racing conditions for the opening day of the BVI Spring Regatta. Many classes enjoyed the fantastic vista of the southerly face of Salt Island today. With gnarled rock formations and spectacular reefs, the windward side of Salt Island is one of the most hauntingly beautiful areas of the BVI. Class 1 was first away, beating up the Sir Francis Drake Channel heading for Cooper Island. Bill Alcott's STP-65 Equation led the charge. Equation was first to round Cooper Island, hoisting their enormous asymmetric spinnaker to spear off downwind in the Caribbean swell. Passion for Sea, steered by Admiral's Cup winner Stephen Leonard, looked to have got their tactics spot on and corrected out to win race one by two minutes. However, Equation came back with a strong challenge to win the next two races. In class two, there was an intense battle with three boats scoring wins today. Doug Baker's Far 400 Magnitude is the class leader after three races, but only on countback from their nemesis Michael Schlen's Far 400 Blade. The two Far 400s had a tremendous battle today, especially during the first race around the back of Salt Island. They hoisted spinnakers almost instantaneously and Blade stayed high, attempting to steal Magnitude's breeze. With the jibe to finish imminent, Magnitude were being hustled by Blade but pulled off the maneuver expertly to hold on to beat their rivals by just 23 seconds. These two ballistic yachts are expected to match race all week. William Wester's Dutch Grand Soleil 46 Antelope won the first round of the day, making significant gains on the beat up the Salt Island. But Trinidadian Reichel Pew on Peak Yacht Service's Slippery corrected out to win race two by just 29 seconds from Blade. Magnitude won the last race of the day by some margin to take the class lead, but a solitary point separates the top four boats. In Class 3, Richard Westland's J120 El Ocaso had a very successful day on the water, winning two races and coming third in the last race of the day to lead the class by a three-point margin. There was a bad start to the regatta for first 400 Smile and Wave, steered by Jamie Torres, which was called OCS on the first race, but the Puerto Rican yacht staged a fantastic comeback to take second place in the race. Third after the first day's racing is another Puerto Rican yacht, Luis Juarez's Henderson 30 Soca. Class 5 is a very competitive class. Right from the start, it became clear that a battle royale is on the cards between several local boats, whose crews have known these magnificent sailing grounds for many years. Amongst the local boats, Puerto Rican First 35 Bon Chance, steered by Bernardo Gonzalez, was also going well, and J27 Mag 7 was very much in contention. Mag 7 is one of the smallest boats in the regatta, but she's in magnificent condition, a tribute to the TLC of her owner, Paul Davis. In Class 7, Henry Van Mel, J46 Gent, had an outstanding day, winning both of today's races. But the Dutch team was pushed all the way. 
In race one, Gent won by just 40 seconds from Andy Middleton's first 47-7 global yacht racing, and the second race was even closer. Gent secured the win from Stephen Schmidt's Santa Cruz 70 Hotel California 2 by just 13 seconds. Gent are the overnight leaders with global yacht racing second. Christian Reynolds' Swan 51 Northern Child is in third place, thanks in part to a great recovery from the horror spinnaker hoist. It all went wrong for Northern Child around the back of Salt Island in race one. The spinnaker ended up dragging behind the boat, but the crew jumped into action, quickly rectifying the problem and making a great recovery. Class 8 produced two close races today between two vintage J-boats. Boston USA owner Thomas Mullins' Shamrock 7 won the first race of the day by under a minute, but St. Croix's Antonio Samper came back to win the second race with Cayenita Grande by just 16 seconds. In Class 9, Keith Smith Legrecki is all smiles this afternoon. His Juneau Sun Odyssey 40, Girasoli, took third place for the first race of the day. Bill Haley's Hughes 38, Second Nature, had a consistent day, scoring two second place finishes to claim second place, but only by countback. John Charlton and Claude Banani's CNC 41, Team Red Stripe, are third in the class overnight. But Class 9 also produced one of the most spectacular sights of the day, two of the crew sporting bikinis on board Salt. VIPs enjoyed a cocktail reception hosted at Governor's House. The grand occasion is to celebrate the start of the BVI Spring Regatta. Regatta director Judy Petz accepted a gold certification for green initiatives at the regatta from Sailors for the Sea on behalf of the BVI Spring Regatta and Sailing Festival. You know, it's our responsibility. We all have fun sailing. Um, it's our passion, it's our love, and if we don't take care of our playground, um, someday it's not going to be as pleasant as we enjoy it today. This is the most beautiful place on earth, and I think it's our duty to God and our earth to make sure that we keep it that way. Day two of the BVI Spring Regatta gave competitors the amazing opportunity of experiencing the western extent of the British Virgin Islands. Virtually all racing and cruising classes were sent through the cut, a narrow gap between Tortola and St. John. As the fleet came up on the wind at Soper's Hole, the scenery was nothing short of spectacular. Little Thatch and Great Thatch Islands offer some of the most outstanding vistas anywhere in the Caribbean. This amazing scenery was given an out-of-this-world experience due to a very close encounter with Paradox as the giant trimaran cut through the fleet. A magnificent seven swans are racing at this year's regatta, and they all enjoyed a fabulous day on the water, close racing in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. Bill Alcott's FAR 65 equation reigned supreme today, scoring a hat trick of bullets to open up a four-point lead over Stefan Leonard's Trip 55, Passion for Sea. In Class 2, William Wester's Grand Soleil 46, Antelope, was over-eager at the start of racing today. Misjudging the downwind start, the Dutch team recovered well. The first race of the day was a great example of how competitive the racing has been for Class 2. Just 19 seconds separated the top three yachts. Antelope led the class with Peak Yacht Services RP37 Slippery lying second. These two yachts had a great tussle as they passed Soper's Hole during the race. Class 5 looks like it could become a three-horse race for the overall win. Ian Hope Ross, skipper of Kick'em Jenny, is still in pole position, even though the team from St. Martin didn't win a single race today. Local favorite Kevin Roulette, steering Russian Roulette, raced with conviction today, narrowing the gap to the leader. Bernardo Gonzalez, steering Bonchance, is third going into the last day, and the Puerto Rican team are still very much in contention. After racing today, the highlight was the Ranafly Bikini Swimwear Fashion Show held by the poolside at Nanny Key. Calendar models from this teeny handmade bikini company, based in St. John, U.S. Virgin Islands, and some regatta competitors showed off a nautical collection, specifically designed for the regatta. Owner Ranny makes her swimwear out of natural bamboo, and all are handmade in the Virgin Islands. A southeasterly breeze of about 12 to 15 knots provided shifty conditions for a tense last day of racing at the BVI Spring Regatta and Sailing Festival. All classes raced in Sir Francis Drake Channel outside Nanny Key, and there was a lot of traffic to contend with. Probably the most important factor was staying in clear air and spotting the shifts as they whipped over and around the chain of islands on the south side of the channel. In the multi-hull class, Peter Aschenbrenner's ballistic trimaran Paradox was the comfortable winner. 
In Class 1, clear air at the start is something that Stefan Leonard's Trip 56, Passion for Sea, has been wanting throughout the regatta. But Bill Alcott's STP 65 equation has just too much speed. In Class 2, Peak Yacht Service RP 37 Slippery took the first race of the day to put pressure on class leader William Wester's Grand Soleil 46 Antelope. The two FAR 400s pinned Antelope out on the left of the course, and Slippery got away well on the favored right side and covered Antelope from the front, effectively slowing them down. However, Antelope came back strongly in the last two races to take the class title. Blade won the battle of the FAR 400s, beating Magnitude in all three races today. In Class 3, Richard Westland's J120 El Ocaso put in another solid performance scoring a win in the first race and two second places to clinch the class win. Jamie Torres' first 40, Smile and Wave, has a conventional spinnaker pull and today's windward-leeward racing is probably what the Puerto Ricans wanted all week. However, the team will take great satisfaction in scoring two wins today. On deck's first 40, Lancelot II, skippered by Chris Jacko Jackson, claimed third. In the Melgis 24 division, Andrea Scarabelli's Budget Marine Gill from St. Martin held off local BVI team Firewater, skippered by Henry Leonig. In Class 5, Ian Hope Ross's first 36-7 Kick'em Jenny corrected out to win the first race of the day, and two further podium finishes secured the class win for the team from St. Martin. Kevin Roulette's Olsen 30 Russian Roulette sailed extremely well today and was rewarded with two race wins but the Tortolans had to settle for second place for the class. In Class 7, class leader Henry Van Melle's J46 Gem went from first overall to third. Andy Middleton's first 47-7 Global Yacht Racing scored three podium finishes to clinch second place in the class. But it was a very happy Christian Reynolds after today's racing. His Swan 51, Northern Child, scored two wins and a second to win the class. In the IC24 class, Fritz Buss finished the 14-race series in style to clinch the overall victory with Andrew Waters' Conch Carrere second. There was an intense battle for the last podium position between Peter Hutziger's Satisfaction and David Irwin's Grey Ghost. Satisfaction won the encounter by a single point. With great parties and music every night, the closing party was a great way to say goodbye to friends old and new. Mark your calendar now for the 2013 BVI Spring Regatta and Sailing Festival, March 25th to the 31st, 2013.